Hey there, week 11. Um, I'm extremely tired from Thanksgiving and I'm sure all of you are too, hence the hat day. <laughs> um, we had a great time in class today and I'll tell you what we learned. Um, we did skip counting to the cubes. This is the last hard one. Thank you, Jesus. Um, I challenge them to memorize this to mastery and last week's if they can. That's their challenge this week. Super hard, hard for me. Um, at least the tune was easy, glory, glory, hallelujah, or Battle Hymn of the Republic, I think is what it's really called. So we sing that through. We did a few different movements with that funny thing, so they can tell you about that. For Latin, we have a new one. I just drew pictures, which was a lot easier for them, it seemed. Um, so it says ace, A-E, A-E-M-A, -E -A -E -A, and I just wrote A-E-A-E, -A -E -A -E, so they could remember that. Um, ace, A-E-A-E-M-A, -A -E -A -E -A. just repeat that. Second one is ace, arum, abus, ace, abus. And so I drew A and a drum, A and a bus, so they could remember how to pronounce those. That was super easy. They will not have a problem with that. Um, for timeline, I only went over this once, maybe twice, because uh, with the signs at least, because we ran out of time and I meant to go back to it during the review and we got so carried away playing our games that we did not. So um, you might wanna make sure that they know this. Um, if you're into the sign language. If you're not, just know the song, which I think they already do anyway. Uh, N for Norman, so there's M, there's N. We want N. Conquest is this. And feudalism in Europe. Uh, the Crusades, we make a cross. We bring it out, the Crusades. Zimbabwe means wall, so Zimbabwe. And early Mali, M. And Africa, and we do the sign for gold, golden. Um, Aztecs of Mesoamerica, we make a pyramid. Francis of Assisi, we make an F. And Thomas, we make a T. Aquinas, for Japan's shoguns, we pull the, gun, the knife out of our hip and pull it out. And for Incas of South America, we show the mountains. Okay, so that was timeline. Um, history was super fun. They had a blast with this one. Um, I tried to give them little cues written here. We used some pictures, some imagery today um, that I put up on the wall and that seemed to help too. But this one will be easy and it will be stuck in your head, promise. Um, so for H-I-S-T-O-R-Y, you're clapping during that and you repeat it twice, that's why it's underlined twice. Emperor Constantian stopped, we just said stopped, the persecution of Christians in the Roman, Eastern Roman Empire and then it says, in AD 330, he moved, and we moved, the capital to By Byzantium, yeah, and <laughs> renamed it Constantinople. And then this part that's in a box was double time. So we did Emperor Justinian's code became a model for legal systems. To add a little fun to that, I pulled something that I saw a woman do that was um, Emperor Justinian's code, and then we stomped our feet became a model for legal systems. And then we went back to H-I-S-T-O-R-Y, H-I-S-T-O-R-Y. Byzantine emperor lasted, and then we would say until Ottoman Turks captured Constantinople in 50, 1453. In 1453, and then you repeat the H-I-S-T-O-R-Y. Again, they had a blast with that. Um, I was super out of breath and super sweaty by the end of that. <laughs> so it's a good workout if you need a workout. Just have your kids sing that with you. For science, we, um, I just put this picture up because it looks way better than what I would draw. <laughs> um, and it's labeled and we did a ton in science with that today. Um, that might be fun to revisit with them because they seem to like pulling those flowers apart. I don't know if because they wanted to be destructive or because they found it interesting. But regardless, they had a great time. Um, some parts of a flower. So we sang that to the tune of Away in a Manger. Um, you might be able to find a way to put movement to it if you get creative. I don't know. Um, but this is what we did. Um, some parts of a flower are petal. Oh, I'm singing it too low. Some, par some parts of a flower are petal. Stamen, anther, pistil, and sepal. Some parts of a flower are petal. Stamen, anther, pistil, and 
C pull, something like that for that. Okay, English. So we're almost to the end of the preposition song, which is exciting. For under, underneath, until, up, and upon, we pointed to our underwear, which they loved. And then for underneath, we just stuck our hand under there, underneath there, until we pointed to our watch. For up, we pointed to up, and for upon, we pointed like we were putting something on a shelf or acted like we were putting something on a shelf. So under, underneath, until, up, upon. Easy. And of course, they wanted to finish out the song and sing the rest of it, so. Well done on having them practice that. Thank you, I appreciate that. Um, Byzantine Empire for geography. We sang that to the tune of London Bridges and I also gave them a poem to help them remember it. So for the London Bridges part, we said, um, Constantinople, Rome and Athens, Ephesus and Antioch, Byzantine Empire easy. They liked that. Um, they didn't like the poem as much, but I realized that it helped them know where the stuff was on the map. So we kind of used both of them. Um, the poem says the Byzantine Empire you see flies on the wings of the Mediterranean Sea. And we've talked about how the Mediterranean Sea looks like a duck. Does that make sense? With Rome at the head and Antioch at the tail, Athens, Ephesus, and Constantinople help it sail. So then we knew Rome was at the head, Antioch was at the tail, which isn't labeled very well on your map. Um, I'll send you a picture. Um, you might want to make a permanent dot on your map at home um, because it's not labeled very well. It's kind of in the box area, but it's not really on the big part of Africa. Um, and then Athens, Ephesus, and Constantinople help it sail. So that helps them even though they preferred the song. So there's that. Um, for Tin Whistle, we talked about the notes and the placement of the notes today. Um, let's see. So we use the acronym, every good boy does fine. I prefer every good boy deserves fudge. You can pick whatever your child likes the most, but I said every good boy deserves fudge because it's on the line. And just imagine that a little boy is climbing up the lines to get to the top for his fudge. And then the spaces are, they spell face, F-A-C-E. Um, so we did this for the space and face. Um, let's see. Uh, we talked about that. We had them label it. We were supposed to uh, play the scale. Um, we didn't do that. They preferred to play the song. So we talked about how the notes related to what we were playing, how long we were holding them, kind of reviewed a little bit. Um, and then we played through some of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Some of the kids know the whole song and others had a hard time playing the first measure <laughs> so or two measures um, so if this is something they're interested in and they want to practice it at home awesome I'm gonna give them a chance to show off a little and play it if they know how next week um, but no pressure for those that are just um, figuring this out maybe this is their intro to music so we're gonna take it nice and slow so everyone feels like they're able to keep up um, I think that is all presentations went well we talked about what we're thankful for, and we heard all sorts of funny family stories, which I won't repeat. <laughs> no, they were all good. Um, but I'm looking forward to next week and a nap. So I'll see y'all next week.